It's no wonder people in low-income areas are having trouble staying healthy. The dull sidewalks, gray cityscape, lack of healthy food options, unattractive parks and playgrounds do not encourage residents to get moving. The Southwest Bronx is one of the most endangered communities in terms of obesity, diabetes, and heart disease, and has the fewest recreational spaces. Professor Kristen Day explores issues of social justice, particularly health in city landscapes. Day's current research examines features of urban environments that correlate with decreased activity and obesity. The Southwest Bronx is one of the many neglected areas on the top of Mayor Bill de Blasio's Community Parks Initiative. The initiative aims to combat this lack of access to green space and to improve public spaces such as playgrounds. But it's not just the parks that create a better urban environment. The New Settlement Community Center, located in the Southwest Bronx, encourages the community to use its innovative space through its inviting architectural layout. You can swim a few laps in the pool, take the warmly lit staircase up to the rooftop garden, or play in the outside playground. The number of people who use the center grows every day. Users can join the center or also participate in free programs such as Shape Up and Be Fit NYC. We also have over a thousand members coming here for the free Shape Up classes. So, you know, they don't even buy anything, but then they still have access to these kickboxing and women's self-defense classes that you wouldn't have. Kirsten Sabila, a partner at Datner Architecture, the firm that designed the New Settlement Community Center, believes that the application of active design differs across New York City, particularly in marginalized communities. The community isn't waiting for the city to change everything. They're taking matters into their own hands any way they can. The neighborhood is beautifying places through murals, community gardens, and sidewalks. Agnes Johnson, a community member of the Southwest Bronx, is instigating change on a grassroots level. Or, like I said, if a new person comes in, we introduce you. Now we know you. She encourages interaction with others in public spaces like the Highbridge Community Garden. The gate's open. It's not like a lot of the community gardens in this area. The Bronx is not very user-friendly sometimes. And this one's the most user-friendly. By sparking these kind of changes in each community, the city is moving towards a more active lifestyle, day by day, bit by bit, and step by step. Day by day. Day by day. Still last, oh.